Hello guys from No Nation. Oh, what the? Oh, ah. Oh. Much, much better. Hello guys from No Nation. Welcome back to another video of Ask No Nation, where I will be answering your beautiful questions that you wrote right here below. But if you couldn't write anything, maybe it's because you're not a subscriber. So click the spotlight right here below to subscribe directly to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Now, are you ready for my answers? Because here we go. The first question is from Sira Yu Munir Fahim. He's asking, do you think should we buy Hector Bellerin in the summer from Arsenal? He's young and fast and he did a decent job against Neymar, who is right now the best left wing in the world, in his opinion and also in my opinion. I also think he's one of the best right now. Although it could be expensive, don't you think he's the man to replace Dani Alves? Well, yeah, it could be the man. I, I like the player, he's young, he's fast, like you said, and very, very strong. He's top Neymar and tried his best. We also have Alex Vidal, but we don't know what's going to happen with Dani Alves. Maybe he might leave in the summer or in a few years. So it could be a great option to replace Dani Alves so we could have Alex Vidal and Hector Bellerin, two great players in that position. Great point. I like the player. We'll see what the big director from Barcelona decides. The next question is from Hossam Khaled. Who do you think will be in the Champions League final this year? Well, I'm sure, I'm 100% sure Barcelona is going to be in the final. Then, they're going to face maybe Manchester City or Juventus. I, I think that Juventus can disqualify Bayern de Munich. Maybe I'm too innocent, who knows, but I think Juventus or Manchester City. We'll, we'll see what happens after them. We have a few months in front of us, but those will be great, great finals. Also, Bosman BM thinks that Paris Saint-Germain could get there. It's also probably that Paris can get into the final. But I will go with Barca and Manchester City. Next question is from Faris Zuberi. Who is the greatest Barca player of all time besides Messi? Besides Messi, there were so many good players in this team that did so many great things for Barcelona, for the Shield. But I have to go, once again, with Ronaldinho. He gave us magic, he, he taught Messi the best way he could, and now we have the beautiful Messi. But I think Ronaldinho gave us another way to, to see football, this beautiful sport. So I will go with this Brazilian player who I, I love. And Hussein Hamed is asking, is Messi or Neymar going to leave Barcelona soon? Honestly, I think Messi and Neymar, they're going to finish their career in Barcelona. If they leave, it might be when there are 30-something, 30, 30 30-something, 34, 35, and they might go to America or Qatar, who knows, who knows. But I think they're going to stay in Barcelona until the end of the days. And if they don't, I will go and get them back. The next question is from, oh, Ines Amigorena. Welcome back. And she has a few questions, so I will try to answer them all shortly. Should Ter Stegen be the number one keeper for next season? Uh, I think, yeah, it's a big chance that that could happen. But if Claudio Bravo stays and Luis Enrico stays, I think it's going to be the same way he's doing it this year. Ter Stegen for the Champions League or Spanish Cup and, and Claudio Bravo for the, for the Liga. Maybe not next year, but maybe in two years, I think Ter Stegen, if he stays in Barcelona, he will be our number, uh, number one goalkeeper. Next question, do you think we will sign Dybala this summer? Hopefully we do. I don't know if Juventus will sell him, but I think we will go after him. And if we don't get Dybala, I have read in the newspaper that Barcelona would also check on Marco Reus or Vieto from Atletico de Madrid. But Dybala would be a, a great sign for Barcelona. We'll see what happens. And who would you sign as centre-back? I will keep on supporting Laporte. Because, uh, like I've read in your comment, I think Laporte knows La Liga and he would be great for Barcelona. He's also young and he knows how La Liga works out, aside of Marquinhos and Hummels, like Bosman, Bien says Hummels will also be great, but I will stay with Laporte. We'll see what, who they sign at the end, because I know they will sign a few new defenders at the, in the summer. Next question is from Hopsa Hassan Barça. If you have to choose one player from Real Madrid to come and play for Barca, who would it be? Good question, good question actually. Well, as you know, we need a centre-back 
and I think he's a great player in Madrid. He's tall, he's fast, so I will go with Rafael Barat. I think he, he, he's the player, even though, as you know, I'm half German and I, I love Kroos. I don't think Kroos fits in the, play that Bar in the way that Barcelona plays the philosophy. So I will go with Baran, as Bosman also said. Modric, they said also Modric, but I will go with, with Baran. We need a, a big, uh, tall center back, and I think he would be great. But that's in case we would bring someone from Real Madrid, which is not going to happen. Next question is from Hellas. Hellas is asking, how many years do you think Messi will remain at the top of football? And when will someone else other than him and Cristiano Ronaldo win the Ballon d'Or? I think uh, Messi, he still has uh, three, four years uh, to be at the top of football. Then it's, it's normal when, when uh, sport, sporting play, players, tennis, football, basketball, in the year of 31-32, it's, it's normal they're going down. But I think we're going to enjoy Messi a few more years. And after Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo stop winning the Ballon d'Or, I think it's going to be Neymar is going to be one of the strongest ones. Then, also, it's not a question, but CPT said, I know this isn't a question, but the new wallpaper you have for, for your YouTube channel is amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And the last one. Yes, the last one. From Soha Manergy, welcome back. Hey, it's a very, very funny, very funny question. Would you like to slap Perez? I'm guessing Florentino Perez from Real Madrid. Ah, actually, here in No Nation, we, we don't like violence. So I don't know if I would slap him, but I wouldn't slap him. But get out of my way, Florentino! Ah! I hope that answered your question. Well, guys, if you're not subscribed, thank you for your question, actually. But if, you, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to click the spotlight right here below and follow us everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, also Instagram, also Snapchat. Oh, you know what's going to happen.